group policies or GPOs. Let's give you a bit of a foundation first. So let's give you an example. So let's say you've got 10 computers on your network. You are responsible for administering a network of 10 computers. And your boss comes up to you and says, we need this particular business wallpaper on every single one of the computers. You've got two options. First is you can go and log into each one of these 10 computers, right click, go into your wallpaper, into your background, and apply that wallpaper on every single computer. Or the second thing, you open up the group policy manager and then you actually push out a policy to every computer on your network, which is actually those 10 computers to say, use this wallpaper. Those computers will read the group policy that's been applied against it and will apply that wallpaper. Easy. You then get an 11th computer, a 12th computer, 13th computer. Your company grows by another 10 computers. They then connect to AD, they read the group policy and automatically they will get applied that group policy of the wallpaper and they will all get the wallpaper. You want a policy in place that a user by default, the password now needs to be eight characters, needs to have an uppercase, a lowercase, has to have a number in it. You can push out that policy against all of your computers, or against all of your users, so that all of your users are forced to use this particular password complexity. First and foremost, you need to have a Windows server. You have to have a domain controller. Within that domain controller, when you're installing the Active Directory services, the Active Directory roles, you actually will get the group policy roles by default installed onto that server. So you log in to your domain controller and you can open up the group policy manager. It lets you push out preferences, functions, software, push out script, security permissions across your network. Group policies make the life essentially of an IT administrator very, very easily because you don't have to go and apply specific rules, specific permissions on every single computer. You can manage it all from a centralized location so that you know that all the computers and all the users are gonna have the same setup. Before we finish, this just gave you a snippet of what group policy is. If you want to know more, if you want to learn how to set it up and how to create group policies, then I've got a training course that I know that you'll definitely find helpful. Check out the show notes, the description below, where I've got a full length training course on all things group policy. Do what you need to do on the social medias by liking, commenting, and subscribing, and also check out some of my other videos so that you don't miss out on all things tech.